I'm asking for support because I cannot do this by myself. I'm a full-time mother, I'm a full-time student, and I'm a full-time employee. And I have done everything I can to reach out to uh, to get an investigator, get every all the information. I've pretty much done everything for them, including giving them a confession video of this man saying that he assaulted me and that he does not care. And they've had that video since the week before Thanksgiving, and they have not done anything about it. They have not moved forward in the case, and they won't respond to me. I have left over 20 voicemails, over 20 emails, and guess what? They respond to people who have nothing to do with this case. She told the detective that responded that she was hit in the head with a brick after she refused to give her phone number to a guy on the street. And was that verified by any of the evidence that detectives looked at? No, that was not verified. Harris County Prosecutor Keith Houston says surveillance videos from that early September morning show Osman hitting a man first. So she's the one who, the, she was the aggressor? She was the aggressor, yes. And it was a water bottle that hit her, not a brick? He did have a water bottle in his hand, and we think that's what left the mark. According to court documents, she asked someone else to launch this GoFundMe for her recovery, raising more than $42,000. But as the story went viral, a blogger on TikTok called police, alerting them to this 2020 GoFundMe, which claimed a vicious assault by a security guard in Minneapolis. Prosecutors allege theft by deception and believe she would have received all that money had the campaign not been shut down. The GoFundMe has zero tolerance for the misuse of our platform. The fundraiser has been removed from the platform. All donors have been refunded and Rhoda Osman has been banned from using the platform for any future fundraisers. Osman did not respond when I reached out to her on Instagram this this evening. Tonight, she is wanted here in Harris County on that theft charge. Anyone with information on her whereabouts can report that to Houston Police. And this is what I'll do for you. Okay. When charged, you know, the report is, you know, still confidential information. Right. Yes. But, but charges are public information. Correct, sir. So when, char if, char when, or if charges are filed, I will call you and let you know so you can look look them up on the Harris County database. Okay. Is that a good deal? That's a good deal. I, I, I have it written down, but give me your phone number again. Yes, sir. Two, two, nine, five. Okay. I'm going to, okay. Thank you. It is official. The police have issued an arrest warrant for Rada, a.k.a. Brick Girl. She is going to jail. A few months ago, in the midst of all of this stuff, Daphne Sutton, a.k.a. Celebrity, the queen of accountability herself, reached out to me, got on the phone with me, and she told me. She was like, I got her. I'm like, what you mean? She was like, she's going down. She was like, I can't put it all out there now. I can't say too much, but I can tell you that she is going to jail. They are going to put out a warrant for her arrest. It just We just got to wait for them to get all the, the paperwork, all the legalities together, and then it's going to happen. So I don't know if they arrest her as of yet, but there is a warrant out for her arrest in Texas. I'm oh, sorry, what was your name again? Daphne Sutton. Delinquency prevention programs and reaches out to Houston's diverse communities to promote cultural understanding, civic engagement, and volunteer public service. Learn more at www.houstontx.gov. Okay, I was I was helping out with the case. Um, it was mm -hmm. a assault case of a black woman two months ago. I provided them with over maybe 20 emails of evidence because the person that's claiming she was assaulted is now harassing me and is now making threats to me. Um, I also have a fraud case against this person, and I already filed the police report in my jurisdiction, and Sergeant McCoy is aware of that police number. I'd be happy to speak to my supervisor, like I said, as soon as I put you on hold. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm aware of that case, and, and they have already uh, concluded that case. They had uh, ample evidence. That they don't need additional evidence. It's already, they had extreme evidence uh, that she was being untruthful, uh, and they uh, more than sufficient evidence to, to prove that already, and that the case has already been concluded. Gotcha! <laughs> Celebrity got up here and says, here is what really happened. Her friend admitted Rada was not hit with a brick. And then as you can see down here, the stuff is outlined of what could have potentially happened that day. Y'all can pause it right now. If y'all want to read this, I'm going to move on to the next slide. It says state requested defendant, rather a foreign national or not, 
be ordered to surrender any and all passports, visas, or other travel documents and be, and be prohibited from obtaining or applying for any new supplemental passport, visa, or travel documents. She must sur surrender all passports. And then you see Daphne got right here. No more Jamaican trips for Rada. She must surrender all passports. This woman isn't allowed to leave the country or go anywhere but jail. That's the only place she can go. I wonder if they found her yet. And people was coming after Daphne, proclaiming Daphne never did file a report. If Daphne says she did something, guess what? That's exactly what she did. Here it goes right here, outlining exactly what time and day that she filed this report on. This was back in September when all this stuff happened with Rada. In September 15, when Daphne filed this report. You go over to Rada's Instagram account now. She has it set to private, but it says... Rada Osman, unprotected and targeted black woman assaulted by whoever this guy is, the, 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 the guy she proclaimed assaulted her, and demonized for speaking out, a cash cow for biggest to profit off my pain. The audacity for this woman to say that when she was the one that was profiting off of other people's sincerity, she made people believe, women specifically, she made people believe that she was the target of a senseless crime, one that did not happen. One that she created. If what she's saying is indeed true, she would have got every penny of that GoFundMe. And she would not have an arrest warrant out on her name right now. So the fact that she still want to pump out lies is the reason why she's going to jail in the first place. Trying to make black men look bad when a black man didn't do nothing to her. But to some degree, I'm glad that this happened. Why am I glad that this happened? Because there is a narrative out there that people need not to trust or believe. And that is believe all women. What happens when you believe all women and some of those women decide that they want to tell a lie? You produce a Rada. If it wasn't for the queen of accountability herself, Rada would have been out there free to do what she did multiple times again. Because y'all heard in that video. This wasn't the first time that she did it. Heck, it wasn't the second time that she did it. It was probably around the third or fourth as far as what she put out there publicly. Because ain't no telling how many times she's done something like this to profit off of in any degree. And the queen of accountability did exactly what the title of her name is. Hold this woman accountable. And look, we got to give her one of these. Go ahead and put your hands together for Daphne. Because without her, this woman would still be out there roaming these streets and lying for profit. Thank God she failed at making black men look bad, but she also made women in general look bad. Because of that narrative, believe all women. And now everybody know that you shouldn't. But anyway, leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See ya.